The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the Virgin Islands, weighing in at 220 pounds, Fisher Steve. The numbers game might be too much to overcome here, guys, as we're looking at two against one in this one. But there's a reason why matches like this aren't fought on paper, Michael. While it may look impossible, I assure you, odder things have happened. And his opponents, first, from Italy, weighing in at 212 pounds, Hot Tommy Headhunter. Corey, when you're outnumbered like this, what can you possibly do to succeed in a handicap match? In a case like this, it's not necessarily about winning the match. Instead, I think it's more about living to fight another. If you can do that, you've succeeded. And his partner from New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, the boss, Durr Burns. With this match being two on one, guys, we might be looking at a nearly impossible situation here. I don't know. I like to think of myself as a glass half full type of guy. And let me tell you, a win over two of WWE's top superstars would be amazing. Ooh, what impact. And we're underway with this incredibly one-sided handicap match. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. Ooh, nasty impact. Tossed around like a rag doll. What a stomp. Good grief. Elbow finds its mark. Goodness, this hurts. Oh! Harsh impact. Top of the elbow. Right on the jaw. Looking at it here. Is he done? And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Maybe a figment of your imagination, but little Jimmy hurts. What a stomp. Good grief. What a strike. Oh, flying forearm. That'll turn your lights out. Oh, man, what a light drop. He's looking at it. Is he done? Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Oh.
And there's his speed paying off. He might have it. Slam down hard. But he's got to capitalize now. I think that slam caught us all off guard. Set it up. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap. Wow, I thought he was a collar. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Setting it up. Oh, brain buster. Can he finish the job? Ooh. No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors evolved. And if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and ever end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just because a superstar is on the side that has the numbers advantage, history's also shown us that it's important to stay focused on the mission at hand and take care of business, rather than to get cocky because you have more people on your side of the ring. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, there's one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. Yeah. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw Reigns accept the handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions, Anderson and Gallup. He's making a statement here with this attack. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman at Fastlane. The big dog never rests. Roman Reigns is happy to take on anyone who thinks the WWE ring is their yard. Look, I'll never dismiss the power, determination, and ability of Roman Reigns. I've been in the ring with the man. The match ended because Roman took it upon himself to attack Anderson and Gallows with a steel chair, which in my mind was done without just cause and is something I don't condone. Caught with the elbow. Right on the jaw. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Oh, oh my goodness, crushing it. When this guy's on, look out. What a stomp. Good grief. Sharp knee. A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respective opponents. And ones we've seen through history can include any amount of superstars. Talk about a game of roulette. This might be it. Oh, my. Vicious attack on the mark. What a strike. Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. The superstar who's seen the most handicap matches out of anyone is the iconic... Eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre took on teams of two, three, and four men at a time. The Giants' opponents could be in the ring at the same time. Oh, here he goes. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Boom! <laughs> he knows he's in trouble. The end is near for him. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. In 27, he's got the shoulders down. Jumping, leaping attack. This handicap matchup's in the books. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. The superstars in this one got after it pretty good from the opening bell. Can't complain about the effort, technical proficiency, or result here. 